Hi there, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to be doing a version of the quadratic application problems, the word problems, that are in your homework. The diagonal of a TV set is 26 inches long. Its length is 14 inches more than the height. Find the dimensions of the TV set. Well, I drew a picture, and now, because we're dealing with the length of the sides of a right triangle, I am using the Pythagorean Theorem. Notice, you also have the answers here, so we can check ourselves. All right. So what I did was I let ABH and BBH plus 14 and C be 26, the hypotenuse. Notice H plus 14. It's a binomial, so you have to FOIL it. You can't just say H squared plus 14 squared, although that's tempting. No, we're going to have to first outside, inside, last. 14h plus 14h is 28h, and 14 times 14 is 196. So h squared plus h squared is 2h squared plus 28h. And we're going to subtract 676 from both sides, so with that we set it equal to zero, something you always have to do when you solve a quadratic. So we're going to have 2h squared plus 28h minus 480 equals zero. Now the smaller the numbers, the better. Notice that two goes into all these numbers, so I'm going to divide each number, including the right-hand side, by two. So I'll have h squared plus 14h minus 240 equals zero. You may have heard my dog scratching and shaking in the back, background. All right, we're going to uh, factor this. And what I'm doing here is I'm seeing if 240, uh, uh, how it needs to break down. Since two, negative 240 equals 24 times negative 10, and 24 plus negative 10 equals 14, which is the B number above, that's how I'm going to factor h squared plus 14h minus 240. Factoring is always faster than using the quadratic formula. So it's best to go ahead and learn the tricks. All right, h plus 24 times h minus 10. Now I set each factor equal to zero, so that h equals negative 24, or h minus 10 equals zero, so h equals 10. Now we're dealing with measurements. Negative 24 doesn't make any sense. We don't, we don't have negative measurements. So h equals 10 is what I'm looking for. And then h plus 14 will be positive 24, and that makes sense. And I think we're dealing with inches, so you should put inches. Though in my math lab, you would just fill in 10 and 24. Okay, here we are. A lady wants to make an open top box for packing baked goods by cutting equal squares from each corner of an 11 by 18 piece of cardboard. 
as shown in the diagram, and we're told that the bottom is 82 square inches in area, and we're asked to find what x equals. How wide is each square on a side? Well, the bottom of the box is going to be 11 minus 2x times 18 minus 2x, because remember the x's were cut out and length times width is area. So now I'm foiling 11 minus 2x times 18 minus 2x. And that gives me what you see here. And so writing in proper descending order, I'll have 4x squared minus 58x plus 198 minus 82 equals 0. So 4x squared minus 58x plus 116 equals 0. Now 2 will go into each of these, 4 unfortunately won't, so I'm going to divide through by 2 just to make the numbers smaller. I'm less likely to make a mistake if the numbers are small. All right, this time I'm going to use the quadratic formula. If I had a lot of energy and a lot of time, I'd try different things to see if this is factorable. And it probably is factorable. Oh, actually, as I recall, it's not factorable. We're going to have to get a decimal approximation. So here's the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now I plug in the numbers. Be very careful when your b is negative because you have to take negative of a negative. And always keep your, your negative b, here it's negative 29, Always keep, if b is a negative number, make sure you keep it in parentheses. So we're going to have positive 29 plus or minus the square root of negative 29 squared which is 841, and we're going to subtract 4 times 2 times 58, which is 464, all over 4. Now we'll have 29 plus or minus the square root of 377 over 4, and 377 is not a perfect square, so we're going to have to get a decimal approximation. Now, the instructions say if you get a decimal approximation, go to three decimal places. But I don't round to three decimal places until the very end. That cuts down on my error. Yeah. This makes no sense. Remember that one side, even to begin with, 
was 11 inches long, you can't possibly have a square cut out of of it that's that's 12 inches on a side. So we're going to knock that one out. And instead, we'll end up using the other one, the 29 minus 19.4164878. Over 4. And what we discover with a trusty calculator is that the square we cut out of each corner is going to be 2.396 inches long. Talk to you later.